There you are, handsome. No, Maud. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, it's one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file. Clothing and always talking about kale and colonics. Stay out of our neighborhood. A recent study found that many stalls at farmers markets simply buy factory farm vegetables and meat from a local supermarket and then resell it at the farmers market to rich liberals who are mostly gullible morons. Weasel News confirming your prejudices. 104.7 FM. This is non-stop pop. Non-stop pop. I really feel we're close to a breakthrough, Ron. I hope so, Trevor. I really do. But I'm a little worried. Of course you are. I mean, we've been here before, on the cusp of a big deal. Then, well... Well, what, Ron? Nothing. No, not nothing. What? What? Don't make me say it a third time. Well, someone always upsets you. And... So you're saying I'm too sensitive for this career path? Exactly! You're a tortured soul! That's just what I meant. You know, I think you may be right there. Sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly Wallace. You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite in. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Huh? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, 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 you're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. <laughs> the O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's going to have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Ah! Uh, this music's all fucking wrong! That's what I'm looking for! Trevor 
Phillips. Elwood O'Neill. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Trevor, it's business. That wide-eyed idiot was mine. It's business, fella. You want to discuss it? We're at the farm. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, because I'm on the way to your lab, and we're going to see how much of a family myth business you got when I'm done. Mm. They're dead, all of them, inbred hillbilly twats. I just spoke to that maniac, Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you in... red freaks. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you.
Gas in a meth lab! Oh, you're gonna burn, you idiots! See what's left when I'm done. Nothing but a smoldering fucking rat. Where are you gone, fuckers? You disrespectful pricks! Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. <laughs> I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townley living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe. But she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before asked... I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I looked through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money and tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so we're headed to Los Santos soon? Soon, I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bunked in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? 
Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, that might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. For fuck's sakes. Another chapter the lost descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what do you want to... Camp's up here. I'll wait till dark before I drop in again.
save that car! This is it, you useless pricks! That's over, and let's get out of town. Los freaking Santos. Got go, okay? I heard lots of banging and screaming, but they're not, not the nice kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have, must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government, they pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired ass movie quotes with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family in a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eyes. Gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, P. Trevor? Lube up your eye hole, fucker, because I'm going to fuck your tiny mind, huh? I am about ready to turn you into roadkill. Uh, please, don't turn me into anything. I just want to be Wade. I did everything to make. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not going to get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game, then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tr Tr uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have. But he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. What could he do? I'll tell you in a second, okay? Just let me concentrate on the road. But Trevor! Hey! Aw. That's it. That giant sprawl, Los Santos. This is the place. I seen it on the holiday card. So, this is Bo Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. Drug dealers clashed with Chicano gang the Aztecas at the Ace Liquor Store in Sandy Shores, which is an alleged front for a methamphetamine manufacturing operation. Our reporter spoke to this man at the scene. It was terrifying. I was really scared that it would affect the street price of Crystal. I love smoking Crystal. Could Facade's monopoly of the global operating system market be under threat? Jackson Skinner, head of product... So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. Huh? It's been nearly 10 years, oh, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Floyd gonna live here. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd over in Mifuchi Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. 
Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a had a stick accident like, like I had once. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up to the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable, grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike, Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, well, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while, until the troll met another troll in a strip club, and they fell in lust, and he bought her a pair of fake troll tits, even bigger than his real troll tits, so she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work, but... Oh, oh, we're near Floyd Caps. I've seen it on Icon Maps. I'll give you directions. Now keep going. Just keep on a minute. So now here's like a rat. Go straight on here. This is the place, I think it is at least. Floyd! Floyd! It's up here, Trevor. Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin. Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you, Wade. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called Nevelyn's bed. A guy was never true. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. Solo que dijo ella. Hey, ese, ¿qué onda? You say, amigo? Where you from, Bato? It's none of your business, huh? Okay? Hey, huh? it's a slight accent. Huh? Fuck you. Huh? Hey, so huh? I grew up in Canada, huh? huh? What's a big fucking deal? Huh? You fucking whoa, whoa, racist! Whoa, 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 whoa. And before hey. you fucking ask, chill, Holmes, chill. no, I'm not a motherfucker. <laughs> Fun of my accent! What 
kind of joke gangsters are you? Give a damn about your little girl's crap! You little shit. Are you looking for this? No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, hmm? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. Oh, that's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. Uh, good Lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, she, she's, um, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for Fame or Shame. Fame or Shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael. Come. She might disagree with you on that. Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Mays Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. You know, I could probably handle this myself. Let's say we grab a beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter, I'll handle it. Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family, fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, you're a model husband and a wonderful parent. You can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. It don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like piss. 
You got blood under your nails and you look like you've been up for what? A week? Who the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor motherfucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. So where? Sandy Shores. The Alamo Sea. Ah, I hear it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, the golf links, all the pumped up plastic sluts you're used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but... Yeah, don't worry, all right? I got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With actual friends. We got things to work out. <laughs> yes, sirree. Okay, this will be it. The Maze Bank Arena. Let's find them. Here we go. Come on. You can't park there. Production vehicles only. Okay, let's just go our separate Get ways. Out. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Sir, you dipshit. Ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter, bitter as fucking vinegar. Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir, may I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta, fuck, screw this! Where the fuck's Laszlo? All right, yeah. <laughs> that was really, really good. All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. <laughs> Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? OK, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. OK. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. When I came home last night, Take what your daddy's gave you, honey. Oh, so crazy. Mm. Get down. Stuff a 20 in this. Oh! Fucking <laughs> something about this. Uh, uh, that's enough. Oh! Oh! I said that's enough! Oh, 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 hey! Hey! I got security! Security! What you fucking Hold say? Come on! 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 Come here, you little shit! No! Tracy! Go home! I just want to talk to you. We gotta take the truck. There! We take the truck! I got a deposit on that truck! We're running that prick down. Look! He went left! How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise the daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. We're gonna flatten this toy car in this big rig. Don't you worry. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road. 
It's only a battery car. Come on! This ain't exactly a racer. We gotta go to the left. Fucking idiot! Ah, the little bass is going onto the train tracks. We can have a little fun with it, but let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush this little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? He took a left. I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up a little? Huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. Look, you went right. Right, up there. Can't get enough of the celebrities, can you? Ten fucking minutes at LS. Shut up! That cocksucker might be famous, but oh! We'll get him, we'll get him! But we're sure taking our time about it. Ha ah, ah, ha, he's going down into the LS River. I can see that. I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. The little shit's all out of juice. Guys, you run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now, I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Huh? Pants off. Uh, uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing? Now, I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, all right, now mm -hmm. drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Oh. Come on, lower, oh, lower, come oh. on. Oh. oh, please don't kill me, okay? Oh. I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, please, come no, on, get no. up. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. Uh. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. 